Now I'm gonna use my cheat graph because I want you guys to get used to using the cheat graph for when things start getting really hard. All right, now things don't really start getting hard until we change the period or have a phase shift. So let's uh, do this easy one. All right, so we got 2.5. Amplitude is always, 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 always positive. I know there's a negative right there, but the amplitude is the distance from the midline to the extrema, which is a minimum or maximum. And so it'll always be positive. The period is 2 pi. The reason why I know it's 2 pi is because the regular period for a sine or cosine is always going to be 2 pi. 2 pi is equal to 360 degrees. That's one rotation. If there was something like this, cosine with a 2 multiplying to the x, that I'm calling omega. And if there's that, that changes our period. But we don't have that right now. Okay, so um, what about our phase shift? The phase shift is zero. There is no phase shift. How do I know that? Because there's no h. An h would have parentheses, and it would be adding or subtracting to the x. Like that. All right? But it's non-existent. So if there's no uh, change in our period, and there's no change in our, our position, like the phase shift, then uh, this graph is, I'm, I'm deeming it as one of the easy ones, okay? Or dubbing it. All right. So we know our pattern. Our pattern for cosine goes max, midline, min, midline, max, like so. Okay, the only thing, the thing that would change that is if there's a negative A out in front. There's our negative A. So because there's a negative A, we're gonna flip this. So that means on our graph at zero, we're gonna start down here at negative 2.5. Oh man, I, I forgot to do my X's. Um, now when I do my X's on my cheat graph, this is how you do it. You take your period, divide it by four. Why are we divided by four? Because there's one, two, three, four sections. So I'm gonna divide it by four and count by whatever I get. Now when I simplify that, I get pi over two. So what is zero plus pi over two? Pi over two. And then I add pi over two again, I get two pi over two. And I add pi over two again, I get three pi over two. I add pi over two again, I get four pi over two. All right, so. Don't these, um, I got pi over two from taking the pre period and dividing it by four. This is how you build your cheat graph, all right? And it's the cheater way of doing things because, and I'm, I'm gonna do the cheater way because later when we start doing the really difficult ones, the cheater graph really makes it like more palatable, okay? So, um, we got all those. Oh, does this simplify? Yeah, yeah, pi. Pi. yeah so this is pi and this one simplifies to be two pi. Which makes sense because our period is 2 pi. So we should be finishing at 2 pi. Because we didn't have a phase shift either. So I started there and then I go back to midline. So I start at the minimum. Now I'm at the midline. And then I go max at 2.5. Midline, min. And when you connect the dots, you make sure you're curvy. And then you, then you have it. So once you finish your cheat graph, then you can go over to your scaled graph and transfer the points over there. So I go zero goes to negative 2.5, pi over two goes to the midline, pi goes up to 2.5, midline, and then two pi goes down to 2.5, and there you have it. Now this one's not terribly exciting. This is like just getting us started here. For graphing we're getting used to the pattern of cosine and the pattern of sine oh let me finish this up too we have negative one is our x or y intercept our x intercepts are pi over two and three pi over two our maximums are two pi 2.5 and our minimums are negative 2.5